Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my new pad. All you can see at the moment is myself and John, who isn't actually part of the new house, and our giant bean bags, which are really, really loud. Today it's all about making the most out of your workout. So we're going to touch on a few points to make sure you're getting 100% out of every single time you walk out of that gym, you're like, I couldn't have done any more if I tried today. And thus getting the gains and the results that Yao won. That Yao won. That Yao won. So the first thing we want to talk about is time under tension. This hut. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably one of the most important things. Um, there's all different ways of doing this with different techniques, but basically what we're trying to say is that the longer the muscles are working for, okay, the more results you're going to get. So if you're doing a bicep curl, for example, I don't know if you can see my arms, put them up here, and I'm repping super fast like this, there's not much time under tension. Whether I'm coming up fast and the eccentric motion, the lowering phase, I'm doing nice and slow, there's a lot of tension in my muscles, okay? So it's much more beneficial for you to take the time for your reps. I would say something like, come up in two seconds, take three or four seconds to come down. Even if you're working towards chin-ups, that might be your goal to eat your first body weight chin-up, you can't do it yourself. Grab your weight, or your bar, sorry, jump up, pull yourself up, and slowly let yourself down as slow as you can. Do negatives on your chin-ups. That's gonna help towards building the strength up to get you to do your chin-ups. So time and tension is massively, massively important in pretty much every exercise. So moving straight on to point number two is technique. Technique! <laughs> Little bit of technique will make everything work so much better. <laughs> you want to make stick to the day job. <laughs> so this normally happens a lot more in the free weights area. Obviously because these dumbbells are moving all, all around and the barbells can move and twist and all the rest of it. The main thing to remember is switching your core on, keeping your knees nice and soft when you're doing a standing exercise is going to ground the body a lot more if you rock the shoulders back. And if you start locking your legs out, you're going to tip all over the place. So the main thing, ground your body, prepare yourself for the exercise before you start doing the movement. Yeah, if you're like, for example, if you're doing like bicep curls and stuff, and you're bracing your abs and softening your knees slightly, you're going to switch on a lot more muscles, especially in your core, rather than rocking. Yeah, fair enough, if you're going for 10 reps and your last two reps you literally can't get a bar up, we're all going to do a little rock to get it up there. So what I suggest is do a rock up there to get it up and take it as slow as you can to get those last two reps on negatives. All right, but there's no point doing your first rep with too heavy a weight, yanking it back. Because if you do a weight that's correct for you with good form, working all the muscles, you're going to get much stronger, much faster. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just stop. Break something. <laughs> I was thinking, what else could I have in there? Yeah, no, really that's that. sweet. So, going on to the end of that, with the technique, if there is exercise where you really don't want to ask someone in the gym, you feel a little bit embarrassed, or they just look really like, I'm not going to ask you because you just look scary, leave a comment below if it's squats, bicep curls, no, tricep extensions. It is normally the compound movements people are most wary of or unsure of. So, leave a comment below saying, look, how do I do a proper deadlift? Is there anything you can let me know? I'm getting a lot of pressure here, or I'm not feeling it where I should. Let us know, and we'll reply to as many comments as we possibly can about the technique for you, so if we can help. Well, more point on that. One more point. I just had an idea. Just because someone does something one way does not mean it's necessarily wrong unless it's glaringly obvious. Everybody's body is structured in different ways. Our biomechanics are different. So very, very tall athletes are going to struggle to do certain deadlifts. They might end up doing sumo deadlifts and stuff like that. So just because someone bench pressing doesn't come all the way to the chest, their forearms might be 10 foot long and their elbows <laughs> might be touching the floor when they're trying to bench press. So everyone's anatomy is slightly different, okay? So try and find what works for you. Yes, that's also got to be bared in mind yep. when training. So be so last one, and the most important one by a country mile in my opinion, um, basically is your attitude. It doesn't matter what rep range you're doing, what exercise you're doing, if you can't be asked to do it, you're going to go light weights, you're going to go hardly any reps with no commitment and it's going to be rubbish. Whereas if you come for good mindset, you psych yourself up for it, you're going for your heaviest weight and you say, right, I'm going to get five reps or whatever you're trying to do, you're going to make it or you're going to be pretty close to it because you're going to be doing your absolute most. So it's so, so important to come in there with the right attitude, whether that might be watching a film before you go out, might even be listening to you, having a good playlist, it could be anything. It could be having a pre-workout, whatever you want to do, but you've just got to get yourself in a zone so every workout, you get the most out of it, okay? Every time you've got to push yourself that little bit further, and all those little bits, soon add up, will make a big bit. Yeah, <laughs> and you've just got to find what works for you the same. There is so many different techniques, sometimes, We'll sit there and we'll, like John really designs a massive playlist. If he's feeling like, I'm not sure today, gets a massive playlist ready in his head and whacks them on the second he walks in the gym and he knows. 
For me, it's either every now and again when I have a rough one, it's a pre-workout or a cheeky little bit of chocolate. That always normally gets me going straight away. So we know our little things that work. And normally, one thing we use at the moment is we've been watching the Flow Boys. I don't know if you've seen their channel, but every time we pick up a weight, and we're, <laughs> we're like, sure. And we're going, right, come on, I can do this. We're going, let me, let me, let me work, son. <laughs> Things like that, which is from one of their videos. So well, it's, it's, Ronnie Cal Cal it's Ronnie Coleman, the bodybuilder, that always says oh, it. Oh, is it? And they're just taking a piss. That's yeah, nice. it, was, it was funny. So there, there's a couple of little things that we use to just get us through. It's supposed to be laugh. So this was a nice short video just to give you a kick up the ass, basically. Quite simply. A metaphorical boot. Yeah, exactly. A winker picker, a nice sharp one. <laughs> yeah. Just to explain basically things you want to be thinking about. So think about your time under tension. Slow those reps down if you're repping at 10 miles an hour. Um, <laughs> think about your technique. Um, like I say, everyone's slightly different. It depends on your anatomy as well and your biomechanics. And come in with the right attitude. If you're going to come to the gym and you're like, oh, I really can't bother today. Unless you're going to have some crazy pre-workout, yeah, you're not going to get the most out of it. So it's about getting as much as you can out of the gym and having those rest days and getting involved. Just remember, get the attitude set, get the, the exercise right, get the time under tension right, and you are going to smash it this summer. We're going to be here with you all the way, giving you some killer workouts. So make sure you're getting the most out of every single time you turn the computer on or walk into that gym. Yeah, while you're sweating it out, let's be sitting on the yeah, we'll Just go and have a bird and chill out with a beanbag. <laughs> Whatever you say with that! I don't know. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> so you tried to do Forrest Gump then? I'm trying, I was trying. Okay. I was so close, but you ruined it. Rubbish. Anyway, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. If you have any questions, chuck them below, and we'll be back again this time next week. Love you all. See you soon. Bye-bye.